we're back talking about fuel system design and the new new performance fuel pressure regulators. Let's recap a bit. We're talking about the power rating, size, and the routing. It's key to remember that fuel is the energy source that feeds your engine. It's a component that's okay to oversize a bit compared to your power goals. Having headroom in a fuel system is a good thing. Size, every tuner will give you their own opinion. There are people that make up to a thousand horsepower on dash six lines, but that really doesn't leave much room for variables. Dash eight or 10 is recommended when running more than 500 horsepower. Routing, a common question when creating a fuel system from scratch is whether you should run a returnless or a return setup. Sometimes a returnless setup is called a deadhead setup, where the fuel rail is the last piece of the fuel system before the injectors. This is where the placement of your fuel pressure regulator comes into play. Although a returnless or a deadhead system can be slightly more cost effective, it can cause fuel to heat up in the fuel rail during idling. As an example, in an inline six turbo setup, it's recommended to run the fuel pressure regulator in the return line after the fuel rail. This ensures that the fuel rail has the fuel it needs, fresh fuel, and is returning any excess fuel back to the tank. Nuke Performance offers three universal fuel pressure regulators in their new FPR 100 series. These regulators allow you to find the optimal one for any power need from 200 horsepower up to 2000 horsepower and beyond. They come in three sizes, spanning from the smallest one, the Dash 6 FPR 100S, that redefines efficiency and suits any build from 200 horsepower up to 700 horsepower. Then we have the Dash 8 version, the FPR 100M. This one suits builds in between 500 and 1200 horsepower. And for those that can't get enough and aim for serious power with extreme durability, the Dash 10 FPR 100X is one bad mamma jamma designed for power levels between 700 and well over 2000 horsepower. The FPR 100 series from New Performance offers an extremely lightweight, durable solution for any motorsports need. The new line of fuel pressure regulators are redeveloped based on Nuke's many years in aftermarket fuel systems. All the Nuke Performance parts are 100% resistant to all types of fuel, including ethanol and methanol. To maximize the durability and functionality, each and every unit is rigorously tested upon delivery in a state-of-the-art test facility. Fully adjustable from 30 up to 100 PSI, that's two to seven bar for the Europeans, one-to-one -one boost reference, and they are all delivered with functional stainless steel brackets that give you the ability to mount them anywhere in the engine bay. The FPR 100 series comes with ORB threaded inlets and outlets, making it really simple to choose the right fitting and adapters to build your complete fuel system. Nuke Performance offers a wide range of fittings, adapters, gauges, and accessories to make it as trouble-free as possible to design, build, and assemble your high-performance fuel system. For more information on the new FPR 100 series, or if you just want a Nuke Performance hat, check out nukeperformance.com.